Hello, my name is Fabio Terezinho and I'll be conducting the tutorial for Factory Talk Import Wizard for In Touch Machine Edition. The agenda has just two main topics. First, a quick overview about the benefits and the architecture of the Import Wizard. And then I'll switch to an actual demonstration showing step by step how to convert an application from Factory Talk to In Touch Machine Edition. So getting started with the overview here, in Touch Machine Edition is a complete HMI product that runs on different platforms and it provides some import wizards to convert applications designed in other products automatically to in Touch Machine Edition. So this particular import wizard supports applications created with Factory Talk ME Machine Edition as well as Factory Talk SE site edition and we conducted the development and the tests with factory talk version 8.10 uh, doesn't mean it does not work with other versions but that's the version that we used as reference to conduct the design in the tests as well uh, the bottom line the, the whole goal of the import wizard is to save time increase productivity when converting products from other HMIs in this case from factory talk product to in touch machine edition and just like any other conversion tool in the market uh, it does not convert absolutely 100% of the application but the goal is to convert as much as possible to minimize reduce as much as possible the time required to convert applications from factory talk to in touch machine edition so the conversion supports displays and objects from the graphical interface animations from the graphical interface commands from factory talk site edition expressions alarms and communication interface so based on benchmark tests uh, conducted with real world applications and beta tester uh, customers uh, we were able to convert applications and save roughly 85% to 95% of the time that would take us to convert the whole application manually. So, and once the application is converted, it's just like any regular application for in touch machine edition. So you can go manually and make adjustments and you can also leverage any additional features in touch machine edition not available in the original product for the original HMI. So you can enable, for instance, the studio mobile access feature and visualize the screens and interact with the screens from any device with a web browser that supports HTML5, like an iPad, an iPhone, or an Android device. You can add new drivers, enable OPC way, again, leverage any features available in Touch Machine Edition. Uh, there is a manual that describes in details all the features that are supported and are not supported, uh, and it describes also in details how to find out which interfaces were not supported uh, and then you can go back there and manually implement them but again for the vast majority of the applications and definitely all the applications used in our benchmark tests the vast majority of the application is automatically and successfully converted automatically so with that we go to the demonstration I have a station here with factory talk uh, view studio installed and we used this application here objects 5 screen demo which is a standard demo from factory talk use it as a reference and I have also in this computer in touch machine edition version 8.0 plus service pack 1 so the conversion has two steps first we export configuration files from factory talk uh, to readable files and in the second steps we import those files into in touch machine edition so in this application I have some screens with objects animations uh, whatever look and feel the application was created on so I have to export tags screens and alarms out of the application in order to export tags I go to the menu tools tag import and export select next select the tags from the project I want to export so I go to my factory talk project folder and there is a MED file which has all the tags hit next define where I want to export those uh, this file to 
could be anywhere but I'm gonna create a folder here in the desktop called factory talk FT export for example and here create a new folder for tags and export it to a file called tags.csv so I can finish it very well in order to export the displays the screens I can right click on displays select import export select next I want to export all the screens so I keep them all checked hit next and select here the folder where I want to export these screens so again will be under desktop factory talk export can create a new folder here for displays and hit finish to export all the screens to that particular folder so here you get a log showing that all the screens were successfully exported and by the way it always creates this file called batch import objects which is not a screen per se is just a, a reference for all the screens that were exported finally in order to export alarms I can right click here on the alarm setup import export hit next and select where I want to export to so again I'll go to the desktop FT export create a folder for alarms hit OK and finish the export so I'm done with factory talk now I go to the second phase which is to import the files into in touch machine edition so I'll create a brand new project and I'll call it let's call factory talk tutorial so I select the type of license I select the resolution let's say 640 by 4080 there you go so it's a brand new project there is no screens no tags no nothing brand new so I can go here on the home tab into import wizard select the in touch machine edition import tool for factory talk hit next and here I can link the import wizard to the files I exported from factory talk so first the tags then I go to my desktop factory talk export tags and select my tags.csv file screens can go to browse factory talk export displays I can select all the screen files I want to export I will import everything except the batch import which is not a screen it's just a list of ex screens exported so say OK here in alarms can select the alarm file exported and here on the application folder I select the actual directory where that factory talk application whole application is stored so in that particular case is under users public public documents RS view enterprise ME HMI projects object five screens and the reason to set this directory is we use it to import all the pictures all the bitmaps JPEGs all the pictures used in the project in this particular project there are no communication interfaces is the default demo from factory talk without communication but if you have communication in your actual project you can check this checkbox to import drivers and here in configuration you add the device name used on the application like my PLC whatever alias was used in the factory talk you select the communication driver that you want to use a BCIP for Ethernet IP CIP protocol a BENI for the ENI gateways a BKE for the F1 serial or a BTCP for the F1 over TCP IP and for whatever driver you select you define the station field according to the syntax for each driver 
So in this particular case, I will not import the drivers. So I can just hit next and the import wizard will collect information from all those files and in a few seconds it will show you the list of all the tags that are supposed to be imported and when you hit finish it will import all the displays, all the screens one by one as well as the tags, the alarm interface, the communication interface if any uh, as well as the pictures used in the project. So it typically takes a few seconds depending on the size of the application and when it's done then you can edit the project or run the project just like any other project for InTouch Machine Edition. There you go. It finished and now if I go to the tags datasheet view I have all the tags here with the correct data types if I go to screens, I have all the screens here imported with the correct objects, with the correct animations and all. can close all. And one of the settings that uh, we can manually adjust in Touch Machine Edition is the startup screen. So in Factory Talk, when you go to the startup settings, one of the settings that's not exported is the name of the initial graphic. So here is low level tag read write. So in Touch Machine Edition, you can go to Project, Viewer, and select here in Startup Screen the same screen, low level tag read write. Say OK. And now I can run the application. It's going to launch in Touch Machine Edition runtime. very well and here I can interact with the application change the status here by clicking on the buttons click on the help to see different messages here on the help click on navigation buttons to go to different interfaces increase values here see the bar graphs go to the next screen change the color view here to see also different bar graph options uh, change the sliders change the size uh, of the objects, increase, decrease on this different screen, vertical uh, sliders, if I go to the next screen select different displays, change the look and feel and the objects that I show on the screen, position, go to this other display, can move around and see the objects changing of size. So again, whatever objects and animations and dynamics were available in the original application are actually exported to InTouch Machine Edition and you can run on any platform supported by InTouch Machine Edition. So with that uh, we finished the tutorial and the demonstration about the Factory Talk Import Wizard for InTouch Machine Edition. I hope the information here is useful for you and your projects and thank you for taking the time to watch the tutorial. Have a great day or a great evening whenever you are. Thank you.